This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIPSCDKey offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. This is the same case I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 25% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. You now have your legit Windows 10 key license all set, but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or GCash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSCDKey.com for sponsoring this video. Hey, what's up guys? Christian here. So welcome back to another unboxing. Quick unboxing lang guys, pakita ko lang sa inyo. Plano nyo magbumili or mag-build ng uh, All Might na PC build. Uh, Tama-tama, may bagong labas na gaming motherboard si Aorus na All White pati PCB. Kasi na-unbox ko na ito or sinilip ko na kanina. Nagulat ako. Uh, ngayon, i-unbox natin lahat. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung anong laman pag binili nyo itong gaming motherboard. So this motherboard nga pala, this is a Z790 Aorus Pro AX. X pala, Pro X lang pala. Okay. Nagulat ako because ang kulay ng box niya is color black. Pero nung play ko kasi yung kanina, white pala to. Ayan o, pati PCB. So this small board nga pala is designed for the 14th generation refresh ng Intel. Backward compatible din for 12th gen, 13th gen. Ayan. So, unbox natin. Let's check first the accessories. So this is the manual or documentation nyo lang so ito yung wifi antenna all white din siya even the cable so wifi 7 na pala to next is the I think this is the for the thermal probe I think tapos meron ditong G connect or connector this is for the front panel thermal ano rin ata to I don't know what ano tong I think this is for overclocking a tool or accessory so dalawang SATA cable Ayan. So, ito yung tsura niya, guys. Nagulit kasi ako, binuksan ko to. Puting puti. Even the PCB, doon ako natuwa sa PCB. Kasi sobrang, you know, matte white siya. Uh, if you're planning uh, to build, yun nga, yung all white na PCB, ma-appreciate nyo to pag nakakabit po ito sa case. Kasi, dati, ang unang gumawa nito, I think it's MSI. But, diniscontinue na nila yung white PCB kasi nga daw, parang ang mahal i-produce. Ayan, si Gigabyte meron na. I think yung retail na to, i-update ko na lang kayo sa description kung magkano to. Alright guys, so check muna natin yung mga connectors. So magsisimula dito tayo sa may I.O. Shroud. So dito makita nyo yung Aorus logo has a RGB illumination right here. Ito. So ang itsura niya is... Ano ba? Ah, para siya nagmi-mirror uh, yung plastic film. Hindi siya yung matte katulad nito. You know, matte finish kasi yung sa may sa baba. Okay. Then, uh, ito yung uh, silver. Hindi siya color white ha, yung heatsink. It's a silver coated guys. Oh yan. Ang kapal po niya. This is at 18 plus 1 plus 2 uh, digital VRMs. Tapos meron tayo dalawa ditong uh, 4 plus 4 times 2 pin. So that's for the EPS power connector. Next naman is the CPU option fan. Uh, PWM 4 pin. Then the CPU fan. Tapos meron tayong RGB na uh, 5 volts, 3 pin po yan. Okay, so check natin sa baba, meron. So 1, 2. Okay, so total of 3 na 5 volts. So isang 12 volts na dito sa baba. We have a system fan here, PWM. So I do like yung naglalagay yung mga PWM dito na mga motherboard. And also, a I think this is a front panel na 20 gigabits per second na USB Type-C. Uh, this is for the, uh, I think this is 3.2 Gen 1 front panel connector then. So additional system fan right here. Tapos also, we have a, meron din uh, for the front panel connector then USB Type-C then. I think this is 5 gigabits lang or 10 gigabits, correct me na lang. Hindi ko nakita sa website. Ito lang nakita ko. It has a 20 gigabits. Then a Thunderbolt header. Tapos meron tayong uh, 4 na SATA, 6 gigabits. Tapos dito naman, uh, we have a uh, front panel connector. Tapos next is yung apat na system fan header. Next is the USB 2.0. Dalawa po dito, header. And also the RGB header, yung mga na-mention ko kanina. So total of 4, 3, 5 volts, and 1, 12 volts. Tama. Yes, uh, LED demo header and a front audio connector are right here. So it has an ALC 1220 and high-res audio 
um, audiophile grade capacitors. So for the socket guys, this is a 1700 socket compatible po siya ng 12, 13, and 14 generation na Intel processors. Uh, 4 DIMM slots. Uh, this is a DDR5 na guys ha. So support ng dual channel config. Yung sa likod nitong shroud nito, it has a thermal armor advance. Meron siyang 8mm na heat pipe under na dito. Hindi natin makita kasi nga nakatakip itong uh, shroud nito. Okay, yeah, may mga kapal siyang heat sink. Tapos, and the two uh, area naman, this is the thermal guard XL. Ito. Then, in-extend nila. Mas makapal to kasi kung makikita nyo guys, tatanggalin ko lang ha. Yeah, nice. Kapal niya. So, moving on, this is the M.2 Thermal Guard na extension. Nga pala guys, itong slot na to uh, supports sa Gen 5 na M.2. Then, ito naman, nagaling natin. So, this is the uh, Thermal Guard extension. So, yan. Kung napapansin nyo, meron siyang apat. So, this supports sa Gen 4 na M.2 uh, PCIe. Tapos, ito naman Gen 5. So, total of 5 malalagay yung M.2 na NVMe. So, ito yun. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 na Gen 4 slots. Then, ito is the Gen 5. For the uh, PCIe full length na time 16 slot, we have a Gen 5, Gen 4, and Gen 3. So, full length po yan. So, time 16 slot po sila lahat. Okay. So, ang kinaibayahan lang dito sa may sa gitna, which is, this is a Gen 5 uh, PCIe 5 tapos meron po siyang feature uh, Gigabyte call it uh, the EC or PCIe EC latch. Ayan o, pipindutin mo na lang. Naka-extend po siya compared dito, hindi. Pakita ko sa inyo. Ayan o. Naka-extend siya. Yung sa dalawa, hindi. Ito. Okay tong feature na to pag magtatanggal ka ng, or maglilinis ka. Uh, tatanggal ka ng upgrade ka ng GPU, yung mga ganun. So, maglilinis ka rin ng uh, system mo, yun. Also, guys, isa pa sa gusto ko dito is the EC Latch or M.2 EC Latch. So, kanina, kung napapansin nyo, itong sa heatsink nila, quick latch pala or EC Latch pala to. Kinakawit ko na lang. Ayan. Ayan. So, napapansin nyo, itong latch na to, ayan. O. Pull, then release. Sobrang dali, di ba? Nga pala guys, this is a thermal pad. Huwag nyong kakalimutan i-peel off yan pag magkakabit kayo ng M.2 drive. Demo ko na lang din tong yung quick latch nila. Ito gusto ko sa gigabyte. Pe-press mo na lang. <laughs> Ayun o. No? Diba? Hindi mo na kailangan gamit ng screwdriver uh, for this. So, gusto mo nang tanggalin, remove, and pull mo lang. This is a quick uh, M.2 quick Latch ba ang tawag nila? <laughs> I forgot. Ayan. So, yeah. Ang galing. I love it. Yeah, so check the website guys. It's a uh, M.2 um, EC Latch Click. Ito yun. Yun yung feature. Demo ko lang ulit ha. Ayan. Yun yung click. Then, ito naman is the EC Latch Plus. Ito. Itong feature na to. Which is very DIY friendly or nag nagbi-BBC build kayo hindi mo na kailangan ng maliit na screwdriver kasi minsan di ba kailangan mo pa yun yan okay so medyo nahihirapan lang akong ikabit itong part na to kailangan mo kasi i-hook yan eh kasi gusto ko yung feature um, especially ako PC builder ako yung mga itong ano uh, sobrang napapabilis po yung yung pag-build namin ng uh, PC Oh, for, for, for client build mga ganun you will enjoy guys mga ganun feature ng uh, motherboard you will enjoy pag na experience na siya i-build dun nyo ma, ano yun ma-feel na oh shit sobrang convenient uh, mag-build dito sa motherboard na to yung mga tipong ganun and I do appreciate nga pala ginawa nilang color white yung PCB nito uh, this PCB nga pala nito guys it's a 8 layer uh, meron 2 layer na copper tapos meron siyang 8 layer yung kapal po nito uh, I don't know kung ano yung exact na kapal this thing is makapal siya actually and may kagbigatan okay nga pala pakita ko na rin yung likod kung napapansin nyo so meron siyang color na natural gray and meron siyang stripes na white dito sa gitna with the hours logo and meron siyang parang mm, 
backplate. I don't know uh, ang tawag dyan. So, this is the ultra durable PCIe armor pala. Ayan. So, for the connectivity, so, start tayo dito sa USB 2.0. Meron po tayong dalawang uh, slot. Uh, we have the Wi-Fi 7 with ultra high gain antenna. Ito yan ko, actual, yung color gold. Tapos, meron tayong 4 USB 3.2 Gen 1 uh, flash drive. Next naman is the HDMI and display port if you have a built-in uh, yung sa processor nyo. Tama, may built-in graphics siya. Next naman, uh, we have the two USB 3.2 Gen 2. Ito po yan. That's uh, type A. Tapos, meron siya lang USB type C. Dalawa, pero yung isa is 10 and yung isa is 20. So, 10 gigabits and yung 20 gigabits per second. Okay? We have a 5G or 5 gigabit na Ethernet port. And also, the high definition audio uh, dito sa may dulo. Kung napapansin nyo, color white din itong uh, pre-mount na IO shield. Okay. So, matte ba? Yes, may pagka matte uh, finish po siya. Yeah. So, guys, ang masasabi ko lang, uh, sobrang uh, ganda na ako dito sa design. Na parang si Gigabyte Hours guys is nag-step up uh, sa design uh, ng motherboard. I don't know. Na-appreciate ko lang siguro. Ginawa nilang color white yung uh, PCB. So, imagine mo kung nakakulay black yan. Pero, you know, kung mapapansin nila na kulay is silver. Yan. Guys, ito ah. Silver, silver, white. Silver, lahat ng nakikita nyo parang silver yan, heatsink po kasi yan, mga kulay silver, hindi po siya color white. So, kung mapapansin nyo lang na color white is itong mga plastic area, ayan, kung saan po nakakabit yung mga uh, RGB illumination. So, PCB is white, para siyang matte white na pag uh, dirty or off-white pala, mga ganong kulay. So, that's it guys uh, for the unboxing of the C790 Aorus Pro X uh, pricing and availability. You can check na lang din sa video description or i-comment ko lang uh, sa baba nito. Ayan. So guys, I'm telling you, ang ganda nito to sa personal. If you have plans for building a white PC or black and white, yun, lagay nyo na to sa watch list or wish list pala. Wish list. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ako plus action to like the video. Subscribe. I'll see you in my next unboxing video. Bye guys.